Okay, we're starting with our burpees seed starting system. So now we can do it? Yeah, self watering seed starting system, 72 cells. Comes with the peat moss. Just have to hydrate it. So these are the peat moss trays. You get two of them, 72 little little holes total. You get this water wicking material and you have a plant stand. There's two of those. And then we're supposed to put water in here and watch this hydrate. And then once it gets all hydrated, we're going to add our little seeds. Okay, same thing on both sides. Okay. So, I'm going to add my water across here. Mm -hmm. They seem to be wicking up really nicely already. Just gonna make sure they all get really nice and moist. Some of these are really wicking up very nicely, kind of like when I was a kid. One of those 4th of July little cheapy cheapy fireworks that you would light and turn into a snake. It's kind of what's going on with my peat moss. Kind of exciting. This does need a good amount of water. It seems to be working out really, really well so far. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water to some of these so I can get them all to blow up like the rest. Some are just a little behind there, but it's looking really good so far. Okay, I've got a little bit more water now. I'm going to add some more to see this blow up a little bit better. I want these to be nice and hydrated so that my seeds have a really good start. This is my first time using this type of growing system. I'm actually a pretty novice home gardener. I've done a little dabbling here and there, but 2020 is making it a little bit more important. To, to maybe be a little more prepared with food and it's also a stress reliever and it's fun it's a fun little investment okay so I realized that when I opened up the package some of these dry peat moss pellets were turned to the side and some were standing up tall so I spent a good amount of time flipping over the ones that were laying sideways up tall because they need room to expand. And so next time I get one of these, I will definitely stand them all right side up to begin with because that will help the hydration process and the expansion process. So that's something that I just learned from doing this. It does need a good amount of water to start with. Um, so far that's two of these containers that I've put almost two and a half containers that I put for this um, 72 slot um, little potting potting starter kit. So um, it's looking really good. Um, yeah. All right. I'll update in a minute. So it comes with this little stick paddle and it comes with this chart so you can chart the seeds that you're planting the time and maybe a little bit of directions there also has these little um 
plant sticks so you can also mark your little plants with. There's only a few of them. So maybe if you have some extra, you'll want to use them depending on how many different varieties you're going to be growing. I'm going to break up the little peat moss pellets a little bit more. They're hydrated pretty well, but they do need um, a little bit of prodding to just kind of break them up and make them a little more inviting for the seeds to rest inside there and grow. So I'm going to spend some time breaking up each one of these little pods before I go get my seeds. And I might add a little bit more water to this, even though I've already added two of these container fulls, about two and a half actually. So I want it to be nice and moist. I want to get a good start and I'm going to put them in my window and we'll watch the progression and hopefully I get some really good seed starts for the 2021 growing season. Okay, so to continue here, this looks all nice and ready. I broke these up um, with the little wooden paddle that came with it. They're nice and moist. They look like they're ready to receive some seeds. Here's what I'm going to be planting. Um, this is my flowers that I'm going to put in here. Um, I also have an edible seed pack that I'm probably going to put some of these in here too. I got these seeds from Amazon. Um, I have kohlrabi, um, tomato, some bush beans, hopefully got a watermelon here. I have this cool. I got this from sprouts. Um, it's, a uh, not a spicy chili. It's supposed to be like a sweet one. So let's see how that turns out. I've got, um, some cucumber, a couple different squashes. I'm hoping to get, um, watermelon here again. Uh, some of these seeds I'm using, um, this is a shout out to Jess um, from Roots and Ret Refuge Farm that I've been watching all year. She has been such an inspiration. I got this bug out seed bag. Um, she did a review on this and so I'm going to try some of these seeds out. I actually did try some kale outside. Um, I direct planted probably a month ago and I do have little sprouts but my chickens did get into that. So... I do have plenty of survivors out there. Um, maybe I'll make a video about um, my little kale sprouts and see how they come along in the next month or so here in California with our mild winter. Um, and then I have some flower uh, and herb, some dill, some chamomile, love cilantro, um, and some chives. So I'm gonna put these in and we'll see how it goes. Oh, let me also add that I did collect my own seeds from some of the things that I ate this year. Um, these pasilla chilies, I I love pasilla chilies. We use them in a lot of our cooking um, here at home. So I harvested these from a uh, pasilla chili um, in August of this year. I had a tasty cantaloupe that I harvested these seeds from and this honeydew melon um, seeds. So hopefully these will also take and we'll be able to have some yummy fruit from them in a few months okay so i've got all of my seeds in except for this um that i'm soaking because they're really it's a flower it's the nasturtium nasturtium um so I'm going to soak these overnight. The seeds are really big and they're kind of hard and dry. Hey, Trini. Hold on, baby girl. And then we'll see how they go. I've got a mixture of flowers, tomatoes, peppers in here, and we'll see how it goes.